Chris from TechMedic here with a close-up look at the coin me mechanism for the Vinstar 3000. So we have our different components here. This would be the faceplate, and you'll see there is a spring-loaded mechanism here. This is the basically coin checker for when you're rotating through. This is the back plate that goes over that. There's a couple mechanisms here. It lines up like this. Here's the slot the coin comes out of. This is a coin verification, making sure something in the slot before it starts rotating. And here is the anti-reversal nub down at the bottom there. Here's the actual rotation disc. That's what the anti-reversal nub falls into. So you can't spin this backwards and you can't play the game of getting extra candy per event. You'll see the coin slot there. And also it's indexed in the center for the knob. Also, going on the inside of that is the gearing for the crank and you'll see that's also indexed in the center for the knob. So we'll reassemble this. First step, just make sure that you have your lever arm here and your spring is in place. Place the center gear in place here. And it's good just to confirm when you rotate this that that positively locks because obviously there's no quarter in place. So you want to make sure that even if a person were to override the coin detection mechanism here, they're still not going to get past, or if they were to put in a coin that's too small, or anything of that nature. Your next step here, place on the back plate. Make sure it fits down snug. And normally this would be in the faceplate of the Vinstar when you're doing the backplate. In our situation it's not, this is just for clarity. Next step, you want to take your knob from the front, place it through the hole. And now you'll take your indexing gear and place that there, like so. Now you will replace your screws, one at a time. This screw holds the knob through here to the indexing gear and holds everything together. You want these to be snug but not too tight. It's plastic, you don't want to strip it out. But you also don't want it falling apart while your customers are trying to vent. There we go. And then there's a screw top right top left and bottom left. No screw bottom right because that's where the quarter will vend out of. Well, not vend out of, but go into your collection slot from. Now normally this would be on the faceplate of the inside the Vin Star, so these screws don't actually go all the way in. I'll hold it tightly together though. Insert a quarter. See your quarter will insert in the front there. When you insert that, you can feel your positive check knob there. It will start to rotate. You can see the quarter goes through the peep window. And if you don't have enough pressure here, the little check arm actually will not engage properly. So make sure when you're assembling this through the front of the Vinstar that it is nice and snug. So it'll start to rotate. The check arm is engaged, and you can hear the snap every time it passes one of these, the anti-reversal snap. Once you get far enough, your coin will vend out into your machine. If for any reason, somehow the machine's laying on its face and the coin does not fall out, you'll see it will become jammed right there. So if you have a machine, and your knob is like this, and you can't go right or left, odds are good when you open up the back, you'll find a coin jam there. Now luckily that is exposed, so when you go to service it, just reach through it's a screwdriver, or something of that nature, and your coin should pop right out. And now your machine will index back to its home position. So that's the coin mech in a nutshell. I opened this up and cleaned it up just because there was a little bit of peanuts. Uh, not exactly sure what it was, but it was some residue from a past vending 
that was in the mechanism and jamming it up a little bit. A couple other possible problem points. Making sure that the spring here is lined up well and it's not interfering with that nub there. If the spring was somehow able to work its way down and get caught there, the slatch may not positively engage and people would be able to bypass with a nickel, dime, or whatnot. Beyond that, pretty straightforward. We'll have some more videos on different parts as they come around.